and we back. Now today's video, we're trying to build the most dominant NBA player of all time. Yeah, we've seen things like this on NBA Twitter and Instagram for a very, very long time, but the, the amount of them have been increased because the NBA has been suspended and NBA fans need something to do. So I'm trying to build the perfect, the most dominant NBA player with $15. Yeah, $15 is all we have, and this is the list we're using. It is from Bleacher Report. Create a player, and these are our options. We have to pick somebody from finishing, jumper, defense, playmaking, and size and athleticism. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a one-man draft. I'm going to try to spend my $15 the right way, and then what I'm going to do is create that player in 2K. If I pick Russell Westbrook finishing, I'm going to take all of his finishing attributes and badges and put them onto my creative player. If I pick Steph Curry jumper, I'm taking his jump shot, all of his badges, all of his tendencies, and creating the player that way. Now this is actually really difficult because I want a little bit of all of this. But I only have $15. So before we get to the actual draft, be sure to leave a like on the video. And let me know if you want to see me do more stuff like this. I haven't really done it in the history of my channel. So if y'all leave enough likes, we'll do it more often. All right? Okay. So in my eyes, the most important thing that we need to do first is get the right athleticism. So our options is Giannis, Zion, Anthony Davis, Mitchell Robinson, and Bobby. That's very interesting stuff. But we're talking size and athleticism. I'm usually, in the grand scheme of my life, kind of a, just kind of a cheapskate. And I usually try to go with the more budget options. But this is a situation where I'm not going budget. I'm spending $5. I'm spending one-third of my budget to get Giannis. Compared to these other dudes, he's unbeatable, man. We're talking about a basically almost a seven-foot guard. He is super tall, super fast, super athletic. Now, if I were to pick... Bobby, my dude's speed would have had to be like 50. If I had picked Mitchell Robinson, his speed would have been like 60. I'm picking Giannis because he's fast, he's athletic, and I honestly, I can have a power forward slash small forward because if I would have picked Anthony Davis, well, he would have had to be a power forward slash center. I can't take his size and make him a guard. So I'm going with Giannis for $5. Is that an overpay? Are there better options here? Probably, maybe, but this is my player. One thing I definitely recommend is for y'all to build your own players. Send them to me on Twitter, Instagram, and I want to see how good of a player you can build. Next, what is the second most important thing to me? Ah, a jumper. See, one thing Giannis has lacked over the course of his career is a consistent jumper. This year, he's probably going to win MVP, and his jump shot has increased over the course of his career. But I'm building Giannis with a legendary jumper. Now, there's a situation where I'm probably going to get kind of cheap with it. We have Steph Curry, the greatest shooter of all time. We have Klay Thompson, one of the greatest spot-up shooters of all time. We have Damian Lillard, Kevin Durant, and Duncan Robinson. Now, immediately, I'm eliminating Duncan Robinson, even though he is an elite, and I mean an elite three-point shooter. The reason I'm eliminating him is because, well, I'm taking tendencies too. Duncan Robinson, Tennessee's ain't that high in 2K, so I need somebody that I know is going to shoot the pill a lot. I'm going to make a player that's averaging like 35 points per game. And the guy that I know can do that and is still on a budget is Kevin Durant. Come on, man. Imagine Giannis with Kevin Durant-type jump shot. Kevin Durant is one of the few players in the history of basketball that I can say he has close to zero flaws in his shooting and jump shot and scoring ability. The man can score from all three levels. So I'm taking him for $2. So that means we have $7 spent. Next, what is the next most important thing to me? Uh, it's probably going to have to be playmaking. So we have LeBron, Ben Simmons, Luka Doncic, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving. Now, when it comes to playmaking, another part of it is the handle. So that's why Kyrie Irving is a very interesting idea here. Imagine the guy Giannis' size with Kyrie Irving handles. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But the one reason I'm not going to select uh, Kyrie Irving here is because I also want a guy that can average nine assists if we need him to. And Kyrie Irving just don't got that. His playmaking is in a different category than the rest of these guys. These rest of these guys I can trust to average me eight or nine assists. Kyrie's playmaking is more bing, 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 crossing people over. So the money I'm going to spend is, a, is, is $3 for Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic's badges in 2K are ridiculous. And that is the reason why you see Luka average, you know, 40 point triple double sometimes in my league because his tendencies and his ratings are ridiculous. So I think that's a steal at $3. Like LeBron is amazing. Do not get me wrong. But for $5, I can't get myself to spend $5 on that. So right now we have a $5 Giannis. 
We have a $3 Luka. We have a $2 KD. And now we have to worry about finishing and defense. And I think I only have $5 left. So I got to play this smart. Honestly, I think the finishing is the least important thing. Mostly because our five options ain't that incredible. You know what I'm saying? Like, in real life, they are. But you got to think about it. We're playing it in 2K. We're playing it in 2K. And uh, De'Aaron Fox with Giannis' size doesn't really make sense. Giant Slayer badge don't make sense for a Giannis-type player. And if I do pick De'Aaron Fox here, well, he's not going to have all of the big man um, finishing badges and stuff. So with my $1, I'm taking John Collins. John Collins finishing. We're going to be running the break, catching lobs. And getting a lot of putbacks with John Collins. And last but certainly not least, with my last four dollars, I am going with Rudy Gobert's defense. We got a guy that is gonna be 6'10, 6'11, and an elite, and I mean an elite rim protector. So those are my $15 spent. Let me know what you think, and let me know what the player you will build. So now my job is to actually create this man in 2K. Now I have no idea what this is. Um it's NBA name generator. Okay, let, let's just have some fun because I need a name for this creative player. I was going to make him Kenny Beecham, but this guy is the exact opposite of me because he's he's going to actually have basketball skill. So we need a, just a random name. So what generation do I belong to? I was born in 1996. So I'm going to say he's a millennium. <laughs> Not a millennium. A millennial. What do you, what do you currently do in life? Good question. I'm still trying to figure that out. I work in an office. I do not work in an office. Full-time student in Rockin'. I'm a traveler. I'm going to say I work in an office because believe it or not, where I'm recording this video, it is an office. You know what I'm saying? It's a different kind of office. It's not like a cubicle or whatever. What is your deepest desire? Inner and outer peace, a compassionate world, personal growth, finding true love, understanding other people. Personal growth, always. You always want to be better every single day you wake up. What would you say is your strongest quality first of all i don't know how many questions and this is a personality test i ain't seeing nothing about basketball what is my strongest quality um i would say um i'm i always tell people out you know what creativity i'm a youtuber and part of being a youtuber is being relatively creative yes let's say that what role do you play in your friendship? I try to make people laugh. Facts. I don't care about the other options. How often do you work out? Now you're trying to get into, like, my physique? Listen, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Your, your brother ain't worked out in a long time. Uh, getting out of bed is enough workout for me. Facts. Why did you take this test? It looked fun. I was bored. My friends encouraged me to. All of the above, none of the above. I just found it. Pick one. Th th this is... What am I? Who am I? I, I'm a Chicago Bulls. What what you expect me to pick? You, you expect me to pick somebody else? And type my name here. Kenny Beecham. <laughs> and my NBA name. No, 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 no. I'm not naming him Ben Gordon. This one's a little bit more fun, though. Name generator. Discover your NBA name using your initials. So my initials are KB. So that means my name is Dwayne Neal. Dwayne Neal is the name of our player in today's video. What you're seeing right now is a man that is losing his mind. He did not realize how long it would take to create everybody and get the right badges and the right tendencies and everything. So this is my reminder for you to leave a like on the video for the amount of time that I sat in the basement creating this fictional player. Right, let's get back to the video. Okay, y'all. So Dwayne Neal is created and I threw him into a draft class so he is going to completely turn around some future franchise and i don't know what it's going to be exactly but here he is dwayne neal um out of, L of usc for some reason just just randomly 6 11 242 exactly Giannis's size and we don't know his ceiling or his floor just yet but it says deadly accurate jump shooter tremendous leaping ability he's Defensive stopper in the low post. Very bad at getting steals. If that is the only bad thing in your weakness, I think you're going to be fine. So you can see his defense is a B minus, and I picked Rudy Gobert, two time defensive player of the year. But as I was creating this player, I noticed some stuff that, like, if I could redraft, I probably pick. Let me go back to my list. I, I probably wouldn't pick John Collins at $1. I'd probably move up to $2 and then move Rudy Gobert down one to like Patrick Beverly at $3. But you know what? This man is going to be amazing. And we're going to just follow the first couple years of his career and see 
uh, where he goes and if he can potentially get that team a championship. Because without a doubt, he is going first overall. If your team wins the lottery this year and you don't select Dwayne Neal first overall, there should be riots in the streets because he is that much of a franchise chaser, changer. We're talking about Giannis with KD's jump shot, with Lucas playmaking, with John Collins' finishing, and Rudy Gobert's defense. How can you not want that player? Now, I was close to spending $5 on Kawhi's defense, but I had to fig I had to realize that it's not that important. The only way we were able to get Kawhi's defense is if I picked Kyrie Irving playmaking. When in reality, it's that's not that bad. I would have to go Ka Kyrie Irving's playmaking and then like Draymond Green's defense. But we're talking about current day Draymond Green, not defensive player of the year Draymond Green. So there's so many different options you can you can build the perfect player. So I just picked what I thought was really good. And even right now, it's like 40 minutes later, I still have some regrets. It is what it is though. The Lakers win the championship and LeBron wins finals MVP. Moment of truth, some franchise is about to be blessed with Dwayne Neal. At this moment, the Warriors, the Cavs, and the Pistons are tied. If the Warriors end up with him when they already have Steph <laughs> and Clay, it's over with. All right, I want to go the long approach. So I'll be back when we get to the top five teams because I don't want it to be spoiled. Yo, we just saw our first team jump up to top four. I don't remember what team it was, but some team that was projected, look at the Bulls falling. Some team that was projected to be around nine or 10 jumped up in the lottery. Did they jump up to the first overall pick? Only time will tell. We're down to the final six teams. The Warriors are projected to go here, and it is the Warriors. Now, the Warriors fall. They were projected to have the second pick, and they fall the furthest you can fall. What a what a bad time for them. Then we have the Detroit Pistons, also projected to be at the top, and they also fall. A team that was not projected to be number one will end up with the first overall pick, and so far, the Knicks are still out there. Have the Knicks found their, their savior? They're projected to go here, and... They are moving to top two, ladies and gentlemen. It's either the Knicks or who? Who? What team am I missing? The Pistons have gone. What team am I missing? I'm, okay, the Hawks? The Hawks are already gone. What team am I missing? I don't know. Only time will tell. The Knicks. Will it be them or will it be? It's going to be the Knicks. The Knicks end up with the first overall pick. Is this a frozen envelope situation? That's two videos in a row, by the way where the Knicks ended up with the first overall pick. Wow, the Knicks will end up with Dwayne Neal. No strangers to the spot. This will be the fifth time in the Knicks history that they'll have the first overall pick. Wow, what a what a draft lottery, man. What a draft lottery. We saw some teams jump up. We saw some teams fall. But ultimately, it looks like Dwayne Neal will end up going to the New York Knicks. Unless... <laughs> Unless the Knicks are crazy. This man floor says Hall of Fame. His floor, the worst he could get is Hall of Fame. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's look at um, mock drafts. As you can see, Dwayne Neal is projected to go first on every single bear board. But it would be very Knicks-like to not select <laughs> the guy that is supposed to be a Hall of Famer. But they will select him. Dwayne Neal goes first overall to New York. Wow. And this is what we're going with. <laughs> the 99 overall 19-year-old with 46 badges. Like I said, I picked the tendencies just like all the players. I put the badges just like all the players. And well, these badges are elite. The only thing he lacks is like his finishing badges aren't all that amazing. But KD shooting, Luka's playmaking, and then we have um, Rudy Gobert's defense. And then we also have some athletic badges too. So I mean... This man is going to be incredible. So, obviously, I have to take over the Knicks. I'm, again, I'm not doing a rebuild or anything. I am not. I don't want to make any changes. If they decide that they don't want to sign Dwayne Neal or they want to trade Dwayne Neal, it's their decision. I just want to be able to see everything take, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, happen. I just want to see everything happen. I got to get rid of the Bulls. And we're going to go straight to the season. I don't know what type of offseason the Knicks will have. Will they go from the first overall pick to the playoffs? Right? You just got a franchise-changing player. There's a possibility that they do. They won 27 games last season, but now 
Dwayne Neal. Oh, I, I messed up. I think he's supposed to be a power forward slash small forward. So let me fix that because it is Giannis, right? Giannis is a power forward and slash small forward. I just switched it up. So their team is going to be looking like this. Freddie, Roberson, Neal can run small forward. Gallinari and Mitchell Robinson. First game of the NBA season versus the Toronto Raptors. New York wins. And Dwayne Neal in his first NBA game puts up 26 17 and six assists yes sir this is the type of player we're gonna get ladies and gentlemen game number two of the season and i promise i'm not going all 82 games like this but 40 26 and four blocks he shot one for nine from three so his three-point shot ain't falling just yet uh it's 29 from three but overall this man has been elite elite all right game three against the washington wizards the knicks are back baby the knicks are back Dwayne neal 36 10 and 7. Will we see the first rookie since is it West on sale? Win MVP. Maybe. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. And I'm going to simulate and find out. Oh, as soon as I start simulating the both, they start losing some games. But I think they're gonna end up being playoff a playoff team, y'all. The Knicks are gonna be back in the playoffs more than likely. Boys, the Knicks are back. Uh looks like they're gonna win maybe 60 games, 58 games. Giannis wins MVP though. But if you look at the numbers, if you look at the numbers, it probably should have been Dwayne Neal. Probably. The man averaged 30, 12, 8, 2 and a half blocks, 50, 40, 90 club. And Giannis did this. I mean, Giannis averaged 17 rebounds. That is absurd. That is absurd. I mean, but I mean, listen, Giannis, you may have won it this year, but you never know. Dwayne Neal going to be sneaking up on your tail. Defense player of the year went to Kawhi. Most approved went to Porzingis, who jumps up to 27 points per game. And I'm guessing our coach is Bud Bo um, <laughs> is Mike Budenholzer now. But as you can see, Dwayne Neal, all NBA first team, 99 overall. What was his season hot? Wait, what, what the heck? Overall. Okay, let's see his thoughts. I feel enthused, enthused, enthused. Huh. Enthused. <laughs> oh, man. I should go back to college, man. Enthused about the way things are going. The MVP voters have me scratching my hair right now. There's no way I was the best player in the league this season. I know. Oh, wait, all I know is that I'm the best defender in the league right now. There's no way I should. He said he should have won rookie of the year, defensive player of the year, and MVP. I like somebody that understands their value. Let's see. Uh, he's somewhat loyal. 30 points per game, though. Y'all saw the stats. Let's go over to... I wanted to see his season highs and everything. So, he wasn't also, obviously, rookie of the year defensive. Second team. Contract, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so he put up 61 this season, which was a season high for the entire league. Then we have... He broke a lot of records this season. You know what I'm saying? 24 rebounds, 15 offensive rebounds in a single game. That is a record for the this current NBA season. 13 assists, 6 blocks um good 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 rookie year man how does he get better i don't know all right so they are in the playoffs as he wants see let's see the rest of this roster man what the rest of this roster look like with Dwayne? we had gallo we had julius randall still here we forgot R about rj people saw rj as potentially the savior but not with Dwayne neal is in town you know what i'm saying but they still put together a pretty solid roster first round of going against toronto and Toronto pretty much has the same team, but now they have Kelly Olynyk, I guess, instead of Serge or Marcus Gasol. I'm not highly invested in this, but they get eliminated in the first round. Dwayne, come on, brother. Y'all lost by five to the eight C as the one C. That's embarrassing. It's already on your resume. You know when you have an amazing rookie season, it looks like you're going to be an all-time great. The criticism is going to start coming, man. They talking about you on ESPN right now. And the fact that y'all lost is the one seed. Even though you are a rookie, people are looking at you maybe a little bit differently. All right. So I'm just going to go to the end of the offseason because obviously that has nothing to do with me. I'm not rebuilding or anything. And our boy Dwayne is under contract for basically the next seven years. And a player like him, I don't see them ever letting him go. But he led New York to a number one seed, something they hadn't seen in a very, very long time. And maybe this year they're better. We'll have to see what they did in the offseason. Uh, they brought in Victor Oladipo, Tristan Thompson, Duncan Robinson's new on the squad. They drafted a guy with the 26th overall pick, but his name is his name is Vlad, and he's a 76th overall. Kevin Knox is still here. So, you know, they made some changes, and now we're going to get Dwayne Neal at his natural position of power forward instead of small forward. Will that hurt him? Will that make him better? We don't really know. 
First game of the season against the Dallas Mavericks, and it's a fat, fat L. Dwayne did not have a good one. Luka had to show the world that he's still the guy that you should be talking about on ESPN and not Dwayne Neal. Also, Luka did just win um, a championship, so like that team is really, really good. But I mean, that's a that's a bad loss, Dwayne, but he makes up for it with a 20 point win against Brooklyn in a very, very high scoring game. Dwayne, 32, 12, 20 and seven with five blocks. Amazing, amazing numbers there. But let's see how season number two goes. I wanna see how long before he wins a championship or if he wins a championship at all, because this season, the boys are not looking good. Interesting. I wonder if that has a lot to do with Kevin Knox starting. No disrespect to Kevin Knox, but you know, you get what I'm saying though, right? Because last year it was like this. Gallinari was starting. And Gallinari had it. Oh, he's averaging 20 off the bench. He should be starting. Gallinari back in New York is kind of funny too. All right. So I just changed that form. Maybe that'll help them win more games. And it looks like it will. He's definitely more of a small forward type guy than a power forward type guy. And then obviously I'd much rather have Gallinari starting over um, Kevin Knox. But I mean, they're still not looking amazing. So we'll see if they even make the playoffs this year. That would be crazy to go from the one seed to not making it at all. Season is over and Luka, what a season. 37, 12, and 11. Bo Bo, Ricky of the Year, Michael Carter Williams, Six Man of the Year, Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. Anthony Davis averaging 34 and a half. Jeez. DeAndre Aiden, Coach of the Year, went to Terry Stotts. The New York Knicks win 48 games, so a big decrease from last year. But we did see another player in the NBA average a triple double. Two players in the same season, Dwayne Neal. He averaged 32, 13, and 10 assists with two and a half blocks. I think he's getting snubbed on Defensive Player of the Year the way this man is playing. And I forgot to check this after the first season. He's getting better with his badges. He had zero Hall of Fame shooting badges at the beginning of last season, but he keeps getting better, and now he has an extreme amount. He came into his rookie season with 46 badges. He's almost got them all. Literally. He's almost got every single badge in the game. That's crazy. This season... 61 points again was a season high and we'll keep it moving and they end up being the three seed a three seed this time around let's see if they can get out of the first round they cannot oh man Dwayne Neal's season or career is not starting off great when it comes to his playoff success but I mean maybe he just needs them to build a team that's better who knows? I'm not the one making trades. Y'all know that. But maybe they will make some trades. Maybe make some signings to get this roster better. Because right now, it kind of is the Dwayne Neal show in, in New York. Gallo's cool. You know what I'm saying? Mitchell Roberts is cool. But he probably needs a secondary star. And uh, they tried to bring in Victor Oladipo, who I think he probably had a pretty decent season. He averaged 19 points per game, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Those are good numbers and all. But he may need somebody that's in the 90s with him. So, yeah, let's see how this season goes. Um, they got a new small forward, Sir Dominic Pointer. You know what? I recognize that name. Bro, what is he doing here? I ain't heard that name in, like, five years. There's no way he should be starting for this team. But Vlad is starting. So, that's a look at this team, bro. Did They, tr they traded Mitchell Robinson. Somewhere down the line, they traded Mitchell Robinson. Somewhere. They got back Daniel Tice. I don't I don't really know. I don't really know what the trade was. But anyway, that's not my job. My job is to sit here and watch and see what happens to Dwayne Neal. And so far, he's made the playoffs both years of his NBA career. But two, two L's in the first round is not looking great. Luka continuously does great things. But we're going to keep it moving. Dwayne Neal did win his defensive player of the year this time around. He averaged 34, 12, and only 8 assists this season. But regardless, pretty good numbers all around. They won, they won 50 games. And look at this. Vlad wins most improved. So we got two award winners on the squad. And not coach of the year. But Dwayne Neal, is, he's, gonna, he's got to win an MVP. I know Luka's amazing. Luka is amazing. But we got to see Dwayne Neal win at least one MVP over Luka, right? And a lot of that may do to team success. You know what I'm saying? Like if his team was as successful as Luka's, maybe he would. Because Luka's team, 3C, were the 4C. All right, let's see how... This season went as far as his averages. Not his averages, but his highs. He had a new career high with 62. 14 threes made in the game. All right. Okay. Um, but other, other than that, it's just, yeah, pretty. Uh, 18 assists. I did see that too. That's kind of crazy. First round is against Brooklyn. Can he get out of the first round? He does. They rejoice in New York. But this time they're going against Philly in a second. Ben Simmons, Matisse Steibel, Alec Hurley, Edgar Harper, 
and Joel Embiid, uh, they might be able to get out of this round. They might be able to do it. It's a game seven situation. Oh, yeah. Please come down to the wire. Never mind. Blow them out if you got to. Oh, yeah. Blow them out if you got to. It looks like the New York Knicks are going to the conference finals, ladies and gentlemen. They destroyed 177 points. Um, can I check something? So this is the reason why this numbers are so extreme. They decreased the shot clock to 20 instead of 24. This means that you have more seconds and that means more possessions. I'm going to change it back so we can get normal numbers because 144 points in a regular season game that did not go to overtime is extreme. But Gallo put up a 40 piece in an elimination game. Shout out to him. New York versus Cleveland. I mean, this is a good team, though. That's a good team. Darius Garland, Malik Beasley, Kevin Porter Jr., Kevin Love, and, De and Andre Drummond. But honestly, I think New York may be better. I could be wrong, though. New York, Cleveland. Oh, we got a simcast. Is Cleveland going back to the championship without LeBron? Oh, they're up by 20. It looks like they will. Ah, oh, that's, that's a tough break for Dwayne Neal. But you know what? An Easter Conference Finals berth? Not that bad for a year three player. Not that bad. And then lastly, they're going to go against the Clippers. And the Clippers win the championship as y Giannis and Paul George on the team together. Got it. Giannis wins finals MVP. Okay. I definitely was expecting to see, like, um, uh, Kawhi's name. Definitely not Giannis's name to win a finals MVP for the Clippers. Okay. What is the cap situation here in New York? Next year, New York will have a ton, and I mean a ton, of money. So, they might be able to finally build a team perfectly for Dwayne Neal. I don't know. It is New York. But they have a bona fide star. One-time defense player of the year. One-time Eastern Conference uh, finalist. You know what I'm saying? So, they have they have a guy to build around that. It, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. James Harden. Signs to the New York Knicks to team up with Dwayne Neal. Now, this James Harden is 34 years old, so he's up he's up there in age. That's completely fine. Because last year he probably put still put up great numbers. 28. Come on, bro. Dwayne Neal has a star to play alongside him. Don't forget, they did all they also brought in Mo Bamba. Now they may we may be able to put together a lineup. Cause it feel it, we're gonna have something like this. James Harden at the one, Victor Lodipo at the two. Who's our power, backup power forward? We could do, like, legit, we could run something like this. We could run something like this and, and just dominate. The bench is going to be subpar. But we can dominate. And I keep saying we because I, technically I am Dwayne Neal. This team could dominate. And, like, I'm talking 60 wins in a championship type domination. So let's see if they will. First game is a win. Second game is not... But I, I think this is going to be a team that tacks on a lot of dubs. I mean, I, did I lie to y'all in the MVP of the season? Dwayne Neal, there it is. Oh, man, he's rocking the number three because his first name is Dwayne. So it's not spelled like Dwayne Wade, but it's spelled, you know what I'm saying? But it's, his name is Dwayne, so he's rocking the number three. 65 wins and a MVP. Oh, man, the defensive player of the year, coach of the year, David Fisdale. This might be the season. They win the championship. Dwayne Neal and company. James Harden averages 25. Mark, oh, they, they did switch it back to the original lineup. I'm not the GM of the team, so I don't really care. Uh, Victor Lipo averaged about 18 points off the bench. Justin Thompson looked good. Lepharis, Amantidis. Yep, off the bench. He, he, I, whoa, his part 36 numbers are ridiculous. Hold on, this man. 30th overall pick last season. His shooting splits are insane. This man should be starting over Monte Morris, if you're asking me. 83 overall, 83 overall. Okay, yeah. I, if you normalize the roster, the, the numbers and everything, they got him starting. This man might be, you know, the best point guard in Knicks history one, one day. Not yet. I'm, I'm jumping the gun just a little bit. He's already 27 years old. So, I mean, I mean, how much better can he actually get? First round, Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young, Allen, Jalen Evans, yada, yada, yada. Okay. This should be a win. They're the eighth seed. Don't get eliminated by them. And they don't. They go to Philly in round two. This is a team you beat before. But now they have Nikhil Alexander-Walker and Robert Covington is back. So we're going to destroy them because he's shooting 30%. Ooh, 
Ooh, wow, that was close. But I mean, did I lie though? Robert Covington, he literally shot 33%. Literally shot 33%. So I didn't lie to y'all. I didn't lie to y'all. Um, Dwayne Neal, almost a 40 point triple double in a game seven. Indiana is next. This team is nice. This team is real nice. Victor Lipo won his revenge off the bench. So let's see if he can get it. Game one is a win. Game two, three, one. One more game to get to the finals, New York. Do not blow this bag. Do, don't you dare. Don't you dare. They blew it. I cannot believe my eyes. Y'all blew it, Dwayne, bro. Oh, James Harden didn't help you out. James Harden shooting zero free throws means that you're going to lose a game. Wow. And then the Pacers go on to win a championship as a two seed. I can't believe that, man. That's that's a heartbreaking one. That's a heartbreaking one. And now Dwayne Neal is a free agent, but something tells me that um, he's going to come back because he is on that rookie contract. But VO is also a free agent, and I don't know if they'll have the money to bring back Victor Oladipo. Let's see who's on the team. Victor Oladipo is back. Okay. So pretty much the same rosters last year. A couple new names. I don't know this name. He's the... 25th overall pick he hasn't played a single minute in the nba but he's an 80, 80 overall so yeah this is the roster we're going with this season they got this 71 overall rookie from the second round starting in reality bro these positions don't matter but i i, I don't run this team so if y'all want the 71 overall playing go ahead let's see how this one goes maybe this is the year you know what I'm saying? The first year they had some jitters playing together, but now they just about to run through the league, maybe? He has done it again, ladies and gentlemen. Averages about 30 points per game. Almost averages a triple-double, two and a half blocks, 50-40-90 club. Kenny Tatum? Hmm? All right, Kenny Tatum. Chris Reed, six-man Dwayne Neal, defensive player of the year. Edgar Davidson wins most approved, and then David Fisdale wins coach of the year again. All right, so they are the one seed. One more time. Don't blow the bag. I mean, wow, that's a big drop-off for James Harden this season. Um, all right. I mean, it is what it is. What it is. First round of going against Philly, team that you've beat a few times before. Let's see if you can do it again. You know, everything is different every single season. You do it pretty convincingly. Miami is next. You got Devontae Graham, a generated guy. Then Jimmy, TJ Leaf, who's always a dog for some reason. And Bam Adebayo, that's a very, very good team. But is it good enough to beat the New York Knicks? It is not. All right, rematch, baby. 2-1 us. Come on, come on, come on. 2-2. Two, 3-2. Two. Two. Championship run. Let's go, Dwayne. Dwayne, 20, I mean, 39. 39, 15, and 7. Three blocks in, in the elimination game. Okay. You're down 2-1. This means that we have to simulate. We, we, have to, we have to simcast. Oh, boy. All right. It looks like it's going to be a close one. I'm going to make it slower. Close one. Close one. Oh, boy. I want to watch. I'm going to watch this because we, we still haven't seen Dwayne Neal in action. You know what I'm saying? We keep seeing the numbers. We keep seeing statistics. But I actually want to see him in his in his element. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make sure that I am not on any side. I'm going to be right in the middle. And then 2K camera. Even though this is not necessarily 2K camera. Uh, but maybe it's just because he's at the free throw line. Do I see Dwayne? I do. I forgot this man was 6'11". This boy is a, he's a beast. He's a freak of nature. I mean, he ain't the Greek freak, but he's pretty close to it. He's pretty close to it. So who is the bald guy right there on the Knicks? I don't even know the roster. Number 39? Oh, this Davidson? I don't know. All right. Neil is bringing the ball up the court, ladies and gentlemen. Guarded by Cal Kuzma. Drives right past him. Step back? What? I mean, he... I, I don't know. Is that Luka? Is that, no, because that's not playmaking. That's KD. KD is doing that? Bringing the ball up the court and instantly chalking up a three? When you're... Like, you should be probably killing time a little bit? I, listen, that's maybe not the smartest shot for you, Mr. Neal. But you're still up by one. That's... Devin Booker plays for them now. Okay, that's different. Now we get it to this guy. I forgot his name again. But the point guard that I said, maybe the savior, he's from Greece. They give it to Mo, and they give it back to Neil, who shoots the three. Bang! Dwayne Neal is turned. Four-point game. And he could potentially tie the series right after these last this last minute. 
James Harden trying to play good defense on Devin Booker. Cal Kuz with the pick. And we got a switch. Defensive player of the year, Dwayne Neal, causes Devin Booker to pass it up. Roberts, whoever the heck that is, is in the corner. He gets some room. He shows the three. Misses. But offensive rebound by Luka, who kicks it back out to Roberts. The time is winding down, ladies and gentlemen. He shoots another three. Miss. Cal Kuz with the board. Roberts again. Bang. Third time is the charm. Roberts puts them down by one. Oh my god, the Moda Center is on fire. Big defensive stop potentially right here for the Trail Blazers. Dwayne Neal, MVP of the season. He gets a little light of room and he dunks on the squad. It is a three-point game with 26 seconds remaining. Wow. Dwayne Neal, first of all, seeing him in action is ridiculous. He's, he's taken every single shot <laughs> for the team since we tuned in. And I mean, I can't complain. He's made most of them. But now... A big defensive stop coming up. Player of the game goes to Dwayne Neal, who has 27 on the night. And uh, putting doing it 50% from the field. All right. So, we they give it to Devin Booker. I don't see any, like, Damian Lillard or CJ McCollum. They may be gone, but Devin Booker gets an easy, easy dunk. And a timeout by the Knicks. One-point game. That he needs to get the ball to their best free-throw shooter's hands. And if I'm not mistaken, Dwayne Neal was 50-40-90 club, like, three years in a row. So he could be your best free throw shooter, but you also have James Harden on the roster. So he could be your best free throw shooter. So either way, you're probably getting this W, putting your team up by three. David Fisdale back in New York is kind of funny, and he does get fouled. Now, I don't want to watch him shoot free throws, so we're going to simcast live at, um, at two, three times speed, six times speed. So he makes both. All right, he makes both, and now let's jump in and see what the heck the Portland Trail Blazers do with 16 seconds on the clock. I'm playing. I don't want to play. Why am I in the game? I don't want to play. Okay. James Harden playing defense on Devin Booker. He gives it up to De'Anthony Melton, who takes the big shot. You give it to De'Anthony Melton? I Listen, listen. You could have done a lot better. And Dwayne Neal, as a 90% free throw shooter, probably going to put this game away. <gasps> he missed the first. Dwayne, pressure on his back. He goes for the second one, and he makes it. All right. Six seconds, a miracle needs to happen right here for the Trail Blazers. De'Anthony Melton with the ball. He gives it up to Roberts, who's hit some big-time shots. And he makes another one. It is a one-point game with one second remaining. Get the ball in, you probably win. And they do .2 seconds on the clock. All right, let's see what this guy from Greece has. I don't know what type of free throw shooter he is. He makes it first. But with .2 seconds on the clock, the chances of the Trail Blazers hitting something crazy is pretty slim. But it's a possibility, so we're going to watch it. And they don't even get a shot up. The New York Knicks. Oh, my God. That, that would have been nasty if he made it. The New York Knicks tied the series up at two. What a game. I don't even know who's on his roster. Oh, Dame is there. But he had fouled out. If Dame was in this game, maybe they win. Maybe they win. But we do get a, a game five with the series tied 2-2. Listen, that was that was super entertaining to watch Dwayne Neal go to work, man. I got 36 VC for watching that game. Next SimCast. See how this goes. Uh, very close one again. New York up by 10. They're up by 24. Win. Okay, Dwayne puts up 49, 10, and 4 blocks. Could this be the game to get Dwayne his first NBA championship? I don't know. They're down by a bunch. It would take a miracle comeback down by 10 with six minutes left. It looks like we're going game seven, ladies and gentlemen. It was close. It was close. But we are going game seven. Oh, my God. All right, Fizdale, what type of plan do you have for game seven? It looks like not a good one. You're down by 10 very early. No, no. What? You guys are going to blow it? Oh, my God, Devin Booker, congratulations to you. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where we're stopping today's video. If y'all want me to continue the progression of Dwayne Neal's career, just leave a like on the video. We just wrapped up season number five. He got to the championship, but they did not win it. He has 62 badges right now, ladies and gentlemen. 62. Honestly, is that every badge? It's not every badge in the game. It's not. But it's pretty close to it. It's pretty close to it. He's close to having every badge of the game. So, yeah, be sure to leave a like on the video, man. This is super, super fun. And hopefully we'll be back with some more Dwayne Neal career simulation.